Good morning, Gary Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm your host, Adina Peru. Any student interested in joining the track and field team this spring should attend the informational meeting tonight in the CSC. Registration begins at 6 p.m. and the meeting will start at 7 p.m. Athletes and parents are encouraged to attend. If you have any questions, please see one of the track coaches, Mr. Duda, Mrs. Butler, Mr. Simpson, or Ms. Shannon. There will be a Science Olympiad meeting in Mr. Richter's room during walkout time on Wednesday, February 16th. All students planning on attending the Science Olympiad are required to attend this important meeting. Chick-fil-A Leader Academy members are reminded that their next mandatory meeting will be on Tuesday, February 22nd during all of Lunch and Learn in the CSC. Please bring your lunch with you to the meeting. Contact Mrs. Koss with any questions. Any student who took Interior Design 2 last year and would like their shoebox bedroom project is asked to stop by F202 at the end of the day to pick it up. Please email Mrs. Koss with any questions. We go to Nate Roth for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. For your weather today, we'll see a high of 38 and a low of 14 with a little bit of sun. For Wednesday, we'll see a high of 59 and a low of 30. For this Thursday, we'll see a high of 58 and a low of 43 and a 100% chance of rain. That is all for your Wildcat weather. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Nate. Anyone interested in cheerleading or mascot tryouts must attend a mandatory tryout meeting on Wednesday, March 9th at 7 p.m. in the CSC. Please bring a copy of your report card. If you have any questions, you can contact Mrs. Fry in A4 in the junior high. The Challenge Program Students of the Year competition is open until March 1st. Three students will become finalists and win $1,000. One student will then be named Student of the Year and will win $1,500. Any student in grades 10 through 12 may apply. You do not need to have earned a TCP award to enter. Visit tcpinc.org to apply. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Cindy Lidacker with What's Cooking. What's Cooking, Late Trobe? It's Tuesday, February 15th, and cooking up in the main line, we have chicken tenders with soft pretzels with cheese and a side of green beans. The sandwich options for today are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options for today are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. In the grab and go bar, we have fresh salads, deli hoagies, and carrots. The soup of the day is chip chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking, thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Sydney. Facts and Business are joining forces to offer a new course for the next school year. The new course will be called Cats Customs. If you are interested in learning more about this PBL course, you can pick up an application from Mrs. Koss in F202, Mrs. Butler in C101, or from the guidance office. Students interested in taking PBL Exploring Hispanic Foods and Culture next year should see Mrs. Donahue in D202, Mrs. Smith in B210 in the junior high, or Mrs. Mushnock in the guidance office for an application. We now go to Luke Hamdy for the sports report. What's up, Wildcats? In national sports, your Pittsburgh Penguins will host the Philadelphia Flyers at 7 p.m. Coming into this game, your Penguins are first in the Metropolitan Division with a record of 30, 11, and 8. Additionally, Sidney Crosby will try to get his 500th goal tonight against a some average Flyers team. In the NBA, there will be seven games being showcased across the league. To highlight, the LA Clippers will have the Footprint Center to battle the first seeded Phoenix Suns at 10 p.m., airing on TNT. Last Tuesday, the Brooklyn Nets and the Philadelphia 76ers made a blockbuster trade before the trade deadline, which entailed the Nets receiving Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and two first-round picks, and the 76ers receiving James Harden and Paul Mosap. Ben Simmons and James Harden's first game for their new team has yet to be determined. That's all for National Sports. We head over to Abby Willis for an update on the wrestling team. I'm back with a report about the boys' wrestling team, where this past weekend they traveled to Hershey, Pennsylvania to win the team state final. However, they fell short to Williamsport and Bethlehem Catholic, even though they won against Council Rock and Central Dauphin High Schools. Some of the boys will continue their career in sections to try to individually win themselves a state title. Reporting from WCAT TV, I'm Abby Williams. Thanks, Abby. Are you creative? Are you always coming up with new ideas for new inventions? Then you need to take part in the Economic Day of Understanding on Mon Wednesday, March 2nd at St. Vincent College. Students who choose to attend this field trip will work to develop a new ride for Idlewild, Kennywood, or Sandcastle, and then market the ride to their fellow students using the skills learned that day. Interested students should see Mrs. Koss in F202 for more information and to pick up a field trip form. 
We now go to Harley Cochran for Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. In World News on Saturday in Yemen, five United Nations workers were kidnapped by Al-Qaeda militants. On Sunday, Jake Sullivan, the National Security Advisor, announced that the White House believes that Russia could be launching an attack on Ukraine as early as this week due to the positioning of Russia's military forces. That's all for World News. Now here's Alexis Noll with Community News. Thanks, Harley. In Community News, Maylie's Bakery was a place where residents used to stop for baked goods, but now is, is the city's newest spot for coffee, tea, and sandwiches. Rachel's 15650 is a cafe run by nearby college students at St. Vincent. Their first week of being open has gone very successfully. Make sure when you're downtown to check it out. That's all for Community News. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning in this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.